Yo, it's your boy Straight Boss over here from Straight Smoke Gaming with another GTA 5 Online video. And in this video, we got a very good video here for you guys. We're doing the Service Carbine. It's one of the new weapons from this Criminal Enterprises DLC. We're going to be talking about it, talking about its locations, where to find the five pieces. And we're also going to be talking about how it performs. Okay, so a lot of cool stuff, a lot of key stuff to get in this weapon. You can see here I'm emptying out my safes because, well, it did take a little bit of time. So make sure that you empty out your safes. Just reminding you guys because you're going to get paid from your safes as well as when you do finally get your fifth piece to the gun. Okay, so here is the gun. I went ahead and made it gold because I worked really hard to get this. I was hoping that the gun was going to be able to purchase as it's rumored to be able to purchase from ammunition from the agency workshop, your weapon workshop. But that is not the case yet. They have not made it so that you can just purchase it. You have to hunt for it. So we're going to be talking about the locations first. Okay. Here's a location right here. This is after I already had five of the pieces. I unlocked the weapon. I had the weapon. And this still pops up. They pop up every 30 minutes within the session. I'm not jumping from session to session hoping that the 30 minute time limit i just don't care enough i don't have the time or tolerance to go ahead and do um you know session hopping like other youtubers okay i don't not doing that over here by del piero pier over by the ferris wheel this is a key location this is where i'm going to give you the first tip guys to find this weapon is i found two of the five pieces two of the five pieces at this location right here okay so you know you can once you see a crime spot hang around that area you know every 30 minutes and it just might be the same prime uh, the prime location that you need to be at to collect the evidence to build this weapon you can see here um not you know some of the evidence is small it's not always the briefcase some of it is small you got to be walking over just at the right angle to pick it up okay don't be just you know running all over tweet tweak it out like i do okay um because that'll make it harder there's a here's another location up by the purple dinosaur up north of the map you everyone knows where the purple dinosaur that's not my suit i'm not the dinosaur but it's up north of the map and this is over by the chumash bunker this is another location okay there's a store there it's over on your way to the the um, the bank over there on that highway Okay, the, the Chumash Bunker, there's a store, there's a bank over there. You know that location. So, before we get into more locations, we're going to talk about the range. You can see here, I'm trying to aim in on J-Cut. It's not locking on. I'm not getting that aim assist. And there, I finally do get the aim assist. And we're going to pause it to take a look at the map. And, wow, that is some impressive range. You can see how far away he is from me. That's some impressive range. So... That's, okay, we're off to a good start with testing out this gun because the range, wow, that's impressive. That's not, this isn't a sniper rifle. This is a carbine rifle, okay? Now, with it being a carbine rifle as well, you got to keep in mind, on carbine rifles, the damage is not there. You're not going to kill people in two shots, okay? A lot of people have an issue with that. I don't because there's other things that make up for that, okay? You can see here at that distance, you know, the damage it's it's wearing down he's not wearing armor guys that's just no armor it's wearing him down slowly okay so i have him you know step in about halfway from what that range lock on was and you can see the same thing the damage does not increase because he's closer okay you know bullet at a time it takes a little bit of time to wear down his health so a lot of people are going to be not good with that i'm okay with that for reasons coming up okay this is a fully automatic weapon you don't need to shoot like i've been doing okay you can see it wears it wears down his health to a kill relatively fast and it's because it has a great fire rate probably one of the best fire rates of any gun in the game okay along with that great range and great fire rate it also has you know accuracy and the recoil the recoil is probably little to none the accuracy is disgustingly good. It's, I gotta say, this might be one. Of, look at that. I mean, 
no recoil. It's almost like shooting a laser, guys. I mean, it's crazy. This gun might be the best rifle in the game. I mean, it's definitely top two. And if go ahead and comment your favorite rifle in the game. And we're going to go ahead. You can see here, compared against other rifles, the military rifle was from the last DLC. It was good. It hits hard, um, but it's a little bit slow on the on the fire rate. The military rifle, I wasn't a fan of. I did not like that weapon. Um, you know, go here is the gun. This is the gun I use the most. And it is the special carbine Mark II. You know, it was a carbine rifle, and I put it up to a Mark II. That's the gun I use the most. But I think in this service carbine is going to replace it. Um, you can see here going over some of the upgrades you can get for it. Obviously, you want an extended clip. This is a no-brainer. You want the extended clip. The fire rate on this gun is fast, okay? So you're going to be going through some ammo. So you want the extended clip. That makes sense, okay? And the flashlight, that's up to you whether you want that on or not. Suppressor, this is something I'm going to advise you against here at the channel. And a friend of the channel also informed me that, I mean, just... Just look at the, when you put the silencer on, it nerfs the damage, it nerfs the range. The range is one of the best things about this gun. Why would you want to nerf that? Okay, the damage is a little bit on the downside anyway, so why would you want to further nerf the damage? That wouldn't make sense. Okay, the grip, yeah, obviously, get the grip on. It's already one of the most accurate guns in the game anyway, so why wouldn't you increase the accuracy? That just makes sense. Here's another spot. This is where I got my fifth location, okay? And talk about some other locations. There are locations up at Polito Bay as well. Another crime scene up in Polito Bay. Another crime scene down by the docks, down by where on your way to deliver the exotic uh, import cars for, you know, whether it be for Simeon or for your auto shop garage, okay? And you can see Jay Cut's going to help me out with this one. He's driving the train back there. This is a great ending to a video. There's the fifth, and you do get 50. There's Jay Cut driving that train. Get those cops off my back. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop a like. We'd appreciate it. We love your guys' support. We got a busy week. You see our schedule. We'll see you in the next video.